Welcome. This video is designed to help you quickly install and test your Polycom HDX 7000 video conferencing solution. Before starting, make sure you have these key elements in place. Single or dual displays with component inputs. We're demonstrating a dual display setup today, which provides a larger landscape for content sharing, but is essentially identical to the setup for a single display. An active wired LAN or internet connection. All HDX7000 components, including the codec, the remote control, the microphone, the eagle eye camera and cable, two DVI component cables, a power cable, Ethernet cable, and a quick installation card. This provides a graphical representation of the basic and advanced setup of your HDX. The first step is to connect the codec to your display using the DVI to component cables. Begin by plugging the DVI connector into the Monitor 1 output on the codec. Insert the adjacent red and white audio RCA connectors into the audio out port. The other end of this cable consists of five connectors, another red and white pair for audio and three for video. Insert the three video connectors into the matching red, green, and blue component plugs on the display's component input. Note which input on the display you've chosen because you'll need to adjust it from the display menu to match the codec. Now, connect the two audio connectors to the audio inputs on the monitor with the same input number. Connect the HDX7000 to your network or internet connection. Please note that the LAN port on the codec is identified by the icon of a network connection. The other port is used to connect a PC. The ethernet cable with the orange tip plugs into the HDX LAN port on your video codec. The other end plugs into your wall jack, switch, or router. After this, connect the Eagle Eye camera to the codec. Plug the camera cable into the Eagle Eye camera and the other into the codec. Then tighten both connections. Depending on your environment, you can place the camera either above or below the display. If you place it above the display, we recommend securing the camera in place using an optional camera shelf. After that, Connect the power cord from the codec to a power source and press the power button. A blue light will indicate the system is booting up. While that's in process, adjust the input on your display or displays to component. This will give you visibility into our next step, moving through the setup screens of the HDX7000. As boot up completes, you should see the Polycom logo above a water drop. The screens that follow help you set up the system. During this phase, you'll need to input the information you collected in the Getting Started module. First, select the proper language and country. At System Name, enter the label by which you'll identify the system. Common labels include the city or conference room in which the system is located. When complete, hit Return, and then advance to the LAN properties. Under LAN properties, you'll need to set a fixed IP address. Select Enter IP Address manually, then enter the IP address subnet mask and default gateway you identified in the Getting Started module. Continue to the security screen. The default password is the system serial number, which is located on the back of the codec. You may want to change this to something easy to remember. Advance to registration. Then, enter the email address you identified in the Getting Started module. After hitting Return, the system will automatically restart and return you to the main HDX home screen. If you intend to connect this system outside your organization's firewall to remote branches, teleworkers, or other companies, you'll need to configure a static network address translation for your HDX system to avoid being blocked. To do this, open the browser on your PC, which should be on the same network as the HDX7000, and enter the HDX system IP address that you collected in the Getting Started module. Select Admin Settings, Network, IP Network, and scroll down to Firewall. Select Fixed Port Option, 
and under NAT configuration, choose Auto. Then click Update button. You'll now see the public IP address that others can use to call this system at the bottom of the HDX Display's home screen. Now, it's time to place a test call. Using the remote, select the Home button or use the back arrows to return to the HDX home screen. If this is the first system you've installed, place a call to the Polycom test site to verify a correct installation. Using the remote, select Directory. Then, tab to Sample Sites. Select Polycom Austin HD by highlighting the entry. Then hit the green Call button on the remote control you'll hear a phone ringing. Then, you should find yourself viewing a Polycom promotional video. If this doesn't happen, review the getting started and installation steps again to make sure they were executed accurately. If the trouble persists, contact your authorized support team. To place calls to other systems installed in your organization from the home screen, select Place a Call and enter the IP address of the system you want to call by using the numbers on the remote control. Then simply hit the green Call button on the remote. The call will automatically be answered and anyone on the far side should be able to clearly hear and see you. If you don't want the system to auto-answer, simply go to the Administration Setup and change that setting under Call Settings. Your Real Presence Ready package also includes an HDX 7000 with multi-point conferencing software. This allows you to conduct calls with up to four different systems. This could be any configuration of desktop and room systems, but must always include the HDX 7000. Inside the box your system arrived in, you'll find an envelope that has a license key for multi-point. To activate this license, open a web browser from your PC and go to support.polycom.com. From the top level navigation, select Licensing and Product Registration. You will need to register for an account before continuing. Once in the portal, follow the instructions on how to activate your license key. To conduct a multi-point call, just dial the HDX 7000 using a name from the directory or the number provided. Again, if the system is set up to automatically answer, the calls coming into the system will automatically connect. While you're using the web interface, you can also add favorites to enable easier calling of common sites. Simply go to Place a Call, Directory, then select Favorites from the directory list. Select Create Contact to create a new favorite. Then, enter the name and IP address of the favorite contact and then click Save. Repeat this step to create favorites entries for any of the other HDX, M100, or other systems you plan to call. Another great feature of the Real Presence Ready solution is the ability to have people share content, like presentations, documents, spreadsheets, and more, through a program called Polycom People Plus Content. To install the program, you must have Microsoft Windows XP, Vista, or Windows 7. Simply open your browser and go to polycom.com forward slash PPCIP. Download and install the People Plus Content software. From your desktop, launch the program. Enter the IP address of the HDX system you are currently using and click Connect. A toolbar will pop up on your desktop. Hit the play button and now your desktop will be shared with others in the call. When you're done sharing content, make sure to hit the stop button so your desktop is no longer in view. If you have questions or are interested in additional features and assistance, simply visit polycom.com forward slash SMB. Thank you.